Um, having been a member of SGA since 2014, the annual meeting has been a special time for me for many years. This is a welcoming group, but if you're new, be aware that this is a group that will rope you into involvement before you even realize it's happened. We're stealthy that way. To all of our visitors who are not archivists, don't worry, we can find archives adjacent assignments too. I'm kidding mostly, of course, except that I do hope this week ignites a desire for those of you new to the profession, new to the area, or returning after a hiatus to stick around and see what we do for the rest of the year. From Georgia Archives Month activities to archival advocacy to learning opportunities in several forms, SGA strives to meet it, the needs of its members. As part of that, we award several scholarships annually. And now I will present the winners. The winner of this year's Brenda S. Banks Educational Scholarship Workshop Scholarship is Tiffany Atwater Lee. Um, the Brenda Banks Scholarship, as it suggests, is to provide funding to attend the SGA sponsored Spring Summer Workshop um, as scheduled by the Education Committee. Our Edward Weldon Scholarship winner is Shady Radical. The Edward Weldon Scholarship is to provide the registration fee for an SGA member to attend the Society of American Archivists annual meeting in August. Our Larry Guller, uh, Gully Scholarship winner is Emma Sperry. The Larry Gully Scholarship is to provide funding to attend the SGA annual meeting which we are currently at. And the Taronda Spencer Award um, is our Christina Monge. Um, and that is to provide funding to attend the SGA annual meeting. And what's special about the Taronda Spencer Award is that this is directed towards an undergraduate student at an HBCU in hopes of encouraging them into the archives profession. Congratulations to all of our winners. Um, we are delighted to have you with us um, and we just look forward to the places you will go. And now it is time for the 2021 fellow presentation. SGA recognizes those who have had deep commitments to the archival field, especially here in Georgia. We select and honor SGA fellows whose work in the field is notable in both its duration and its impact. Before I announce the 2021 fellow, I want to recognize the members of our nominating committee for their work this year. Thank you to past president and nominating chair, Angela Stanley, and committee members, Brittany Newberry, and Daria Lubinsky. Your hard work is appreciated. And now our 2021 fellow is Muriel Jackson. The letter that we received in nomination of our new fellow comes from Jennifer Lautzingheiser, director of the Middle Georgia Regional Library System. And she says this, local history runs deep and Ms. Jackson's work on behalf of SGA and the Middle Georgia Regional Library has always been rooted in the utmost care and respect for the stories of her community. In 2017, she led the Middle Georgia Archives in its receipt of a local history advocacy award from the Georgia Historical Records Advisory Council for its work to document and preserve the rich history of Middle Georgia. Ms. Jackson has been an active and dedicated member of SGA since 1996. Her service to SGA includes work on multiple committees, as well as elections as SGA archivist in 2007 and 2008, and an appointment as chair of the scholarship committee in 2018. Ms. Jackson's commitment to preservation extends well beyond her service to SGA. She has established African-American roundtables to capture the oral histories of Marshallville and Macon Bibb communities. Most recently, she secured a grant funded by the Institute of Museum and Library Services to provide a memory lab at Washington Memorial Library. The intention is to support the long-term storage, preservation, and access of analog and digital materials for families and institutions. 
This dedication to preservation builds upon an earlier grant from the Knight Foundation. This grant provided scanning equipment and digital tools from the Jefferson Institute to increase access to the archives through an effort to digitize and share through virtual exhibits. This project has also served as a basis for the current Omeka pilot with Georgia Home Place. The local middle Georgia community has benefited from and appreciated her commitment to preservation. As y'all might imagine, the letter goes on to list quite a bit more about her many, many accomplishments and award and to quickly list a few others. She is the 2020 Historic Macon Foundation's Jenny Thurston Award winner, Georgia Personal Woman of Achievement Award from the Georgia Women of Achievement, a local history panelist and expert for GPB. And in 1992, she was the People to People Citizen Ambassador to Russia and, uh, Russia and Czechoslovakia. Biographers for Otis Redding, William Sanders Scarborough, John Fletcher Hansen, and John Oliver Killens have all provided research credits for her assistance. I'll end with a few more of Jennifer's words about Muriel. She is dedicated to professional development and adopting developing best practices for the benefit of preservation into the future. This dynamic and dedicated commitment is exactly the intention and ideal of a, Georgia, a Society of Georgia Archivists Fellow. I couldn't agree more. Congratulations, Muriel. I cannot think of a better person to have the title of SGA Fellow than you. And as is this time is traditional, I would like to invite our fellow to say a few words. Muriel. Hi, I will say just a few words, but I had to write them down, so don't panic. Um, I want to thank the Net Fellows Committee for selecting me for this prestigious honor. I would also like to, like to say without the support of past library directors, Charles Schmidt, Joan Anderson, Thomas Jones, and currently General Atzenheiser, and my former supervisors and co-workers, I would not have been able to participate in the Society of Georgia Archivist activities as well as serving on various committees. They made it possible and encouraged me to work on various programs that were mentioned in the nominations such as the African American Roundtables as well as the implementation of the Memory Lab. If not for Susan McCullough and my aunt Gwen Booker, I would not have gone to library of school which started this journey. So thank you very much to my parents, John and Hazel McDowell, my siblings, Melissa, Melinda and John McDowell, my husband, Samuel Jackson, who supported me in my journey as a librarian and archivist. Once again, thank you so much for this honor. Angela, did you wanna say anything to recognize your committee or anything at this moment? Well, how could I say no to that? Um, yes, <laughs> thank you for the opportunity. Um, yes, just an, another huge thanks to um, my fellow nominating committee members, um, Daria and Brittany, as well as to all of our past fellows. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, you know, this is really a, a team effort and, um, you know, of course, big thanks to everyone who took the time and care to submit a nomination. Um, we had an, a really fantastic pool of nominees this year. And, you know, I just hope that, I know that SGA is in great hands and that we will be able to continue to recognize the excellent work of Georgia archivists um, and SGA members. So just thanks to y'all. I want to reiterate all of that um, and just say our fellows are the best. Um, they are still active, still participate, still mentor. Um, so Muriel's really perfect for being a fellow. Um, she fits it to a T. Um, I again want to thank the nominating committee. I want to make sure I thank our members of the scholarship committee um, as well. I know that um, these are hard decisions when you have so many good candidates um, for an award. Um, and so, thank you. And um, at this point, that's that's all we've got, y'all. So this is a super short <laughs> um, award ceremony. And 
I want you all to enjoy your evening and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.